Welcome back to the Morning Blend. A recent survey shows that 65% of Americans feel they're too busy to make time for themselves. Keurig, and the results are in. Even in summer, we are all over scheduled. Probably no big surprise to us, especially a lot of moms out there. So how do we change that? Lifestyle expert Liz Pryor joins us live now with some tips on how to create me time, something we could all schedule a little more of. Right, Liz? Right, Molly. We are overextended and we kind of need to do that oxygen mask theory where if we don't, if we don't do it for ourselves, we're no good to everybody around us. I, I think that that's so true. And I wonder about this survey, some interesting things that you found. What do you see as being some of the key points? Yeah, I really, really respond to the fact that two thirds of Americans don't have enough, even small amount of time in their day to do anything for me. I also responded to the 75% who said they would put do nothing on their list of things to do, but they're just too busy to do it. So we, we want to swing back the pendulum a little bit. We're just struggling figuring out how to do that. What about summer in particular, Liz? How do you think it's changed from, from past years? Well, I think it's changed drastically in that summer really used to be the time, remember, that we all, nobody had a schedule. We did picnics, we caught butterflies, we played hopscotch, we went to the beach and hung out and looked for treasures. All of that is really missing in the lives of many, many Americans today. We've, we've overscheduled ourselves, and honestly, Molly, we're very plugged into technology. Yeah, a little too much, probably. What do you suggest? What are some simple ways so. to make me time, especially in the summer? Yeah, I think um, one of the biggest tips that I use year round in my house is to unplug, and I mean unplug everywhere cell phones, laptops, computers, Game Boys, Game Cubes, Game Anything, television. All of it gets turned off for about a half an hour a day in my house, and I now have teenagers. This did not go over well, but it's working now. <laughs> So to unplug for any amount of time that you can so that you can connect to the people that you love that you're around. The other idea I have is to try and find your refresh button and it's different for everybody. Lots of people can just take a walk around the block, um, take a dip in the pool. Two thirds of America, including me, say that a cold beverage, brewed hot, enjoy cold here, push the brew button and less than a minute later, we have a nice summer cold beverage. Okay, so it's not a trip to Hawaii. It's not 10 days off, but it's five minutes in my day where I pick the flavor and I take the time to drink it. I think that's so cute. One of the things I always say, if I get a day off of work, one of my favorite things to do is have a cup of coffee and actually sit down to relax and enjoy it and not be so rushed. So I wonder what is the brew over ice Isn't it campaign? True? Well, it was created to let people know that these Keurig brewers brew hot to enjoy cold. And they have these little K-cup packs that are specially formulated to brew hot and then make cold on the ice there. And honestly, Molly, this is, it's so easy. And my kids fight to use this machine. And there's no mess. Put the pot in, take it out, throw it in the garbage. Easy peasy. I love it. Where can people go for more information? <laughs> Brewoverice.com, and you can find all these tips and all the things you need to know about Keurig and Brew Over Ice. Sounds good, Liz. Enjoy summer and find some time for yourself. Thanks, Molly. I'll try. Okay, me too. Thanks again. And for more information, you can check out this website. It's brewoverice.com.